How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggy the Wivet. I'm Will. I'm Audrey. Our microphone's at least working this time. And what are we doing today? We are playing muchos games for Extra Life. Extra Life. Day. Game Extra day. Life Game Day 2022. So we are playing some Pandasaurus games in this round of live streams. Uh, the first one is Sobic, and then we will go ahead and play Brew. Uh, we will be giving away both of these games during the live stream. Uh, Pandasaurus provided these to give away. Um, so, of course, come out, join us, or hopefully you're already out joining us, or hopefully you catch up because we tried to transfer everybody over here. Um, Joseph, I got so much anxiety, I couldn't imagine having uh, to tear down that last game, set up for the next one, going through all that. So, <laughs> I, I, we're going to get better at this. This is only our second year doing board games. Some people set them up on boards and then put them out. Or you just pick small games. And I think for the most part, we have pretty small, quick, packed together games. Yeah. Um, or we try to pack them up while we're doing the giveaway. So speaking of giveaway, like I said, we will be giving away a copy of Sobic once we're done playing this. And then we'll switch over to uh, Brew. Uh, but we do have other giveaways. And those giveaways are included in what? In our donations. In our donation giveaway. And how much, how much games is in that? Muchos. Muchos. How many? Did so we, I, we, we don't know how many. There's a lot of games going to be in that. Um, probably close to $500 uh, worth of games will be in that uh, big giveaway, including things like Dice Throne Season 1 Rerolled. Uh, you can see Radlands back there, Dubious, um, a couple other things, some Power Rangers RPG games. we got a video. You can go check that out. Link is above where you can donate to Extra Life and get entries. At los niños. Thought she whispered it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do Subic. So I guess we will set it up and explain how to play as I set it up. It's a pretty quick, easy game. Uh, numero ocho. I, know, I read a lot of rule books last night. Let's just say I read a lot of rule books. All right. So here we go. So in Sobic, you're basically, it is a, this is Sobic two player. So uh, you are trying to gain the Pharaoh's favor by selling goods and stuff. All right. Um, there's, there are tiles that Audrey is going to have to shuffle over there real quick. Uh, Just shuffle, All the shuffle. colors so, yeah, are total. combined. Uh, except for the white ones. I'm sorry. Take the white ones out. Oopsie. The white ones? You mean the gray ones? The, the light gray, gray? The gray ones. Yeah, light gray ones. The light gray ones. Right. You want to be brown or orange? Orange. Audrey wants to be orange. We don't have a score track yet, so... Okay. So they are supposed to be face down, I don't know. No, see. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, it's supposed to all be face down. It's kind of hard, but you're not supposed to know what you're doing. And then, yeah, but these ones then, are... Yeah, they're all the same. So then stack them. Once you once you get them shuffled, then stack them back up on top of each other. Without... It doesn't matter what colors they are? No. We're going to go through all the tiles anyway, so it honestly doesn't matter how random this really is. Um, but yeah, so in Sobic, and I can kind of start showing you based on this little setup and so Audrey gets the rest of them uh, put out. Um, you are trying to gather like goods so you can sell them to the Pharaoh. So if you see here, we have fish, we have piggies, we got wood, we got straw. On your turn, you're going to take this little um, onk. I was about to say there should have been two left over. Uh, and you're going to choose. So in the first round, I'm going to choose one of these four. I got to start in the middle if I'm the first player. And then I'm going to say, okay, say I want these piggies. I'm going to place the onk like that. If there was a there's a little mark on the top and the bottom, that shows which way the onk goes. And then I add this to my hand, right? Audrey then has to pick something in that row. So we played a very similar game last year, actually, during game day, which was uh, Dragon Pets. Very similar. You're trying to collect. I like that now, one. some of the tiles will have little scarabs on the bottom. So when you want to uh, donate... Hey, Max, how you doing? Uh, good luck on our drive. We appreciate that, Max. Uh, we are in hour number three, I think. No, two. No, we 8 to 9, 9 to 10, and now we're into 10. So oh, 10 power? Three. I thought game. Oh, yeah, third game, second game. 
Um, but you pick something in that row. Um, and you just want to keep adding and building and adding and building. And so then on your turn, those are your options, right? You can either collect a tile, you can sell a set of three, or you can play. Now there's some of these orange cards in these orange tiles in here. You can sell uh, one of those orange tiles to, um, I'm sorry, not sell. You can use one of the orange tiles to use its ability. So there are a bunch of abilities on these character tiles and you basically can take those abilities. Now you can increase your set. So this is a set collection game by adding to what you have sold. So say I sold three fish, I could add more fish, but I have to do it in a multiple of three. Um, you can use wilds. So the characters can be used for their ability or they have a symbol on them. Um, this little guy here, he is a wild. The, and then, so your first time you do a set and you sell a set, it has to be three of that good, or at least include one of that good, sorry. Future turns, you don't have to. If you had three of the, the character tiles, you could just basically do all three character tiles and turn it in that way. Oops, we don't want to see what that is. I don't even know what it is. All right. Um, but we basically wash, rinse, and repeat until there are no more available tiles to refill. Um, and there's no action that a player can take, whether that's the sell action, whether that is the play a character action, um, or, I don't know, it's so confusing laying these out because these have to be upside down. Oh, so the gray yeah. ones go... Face up. Okay. Yeah, the gray ones go fine. So you know what good you're getting. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't know what good you're getting. Um, but yeah, you just keep doing that. And then whoever has the most points at the end wins, basically. Uh, points are multiplicative based on these scarabs. That's what I was mentioning the scarabs, but I was waiting for one. So basically, if I have five wood total, well, I can't have five. I'd have to have at least six, right? Three or six. So if I had three, then it'd be worth two times three. So it'd be worth six points. If I had six, then it'd be two times six so it'd be 12 points but again i could have other scarabs i could have two scarabs here plus another wood that had two scarabs and all that multiplies we got another donation this should be popping up on the on the screen here soon now that i got that I working the i can't read oh up there it's popping up the what awesome awesome oh the senko family donated another 15 dollars. thank you gracias senko family Awesome. Oh, you you look at it up there. The the name when it shows there. I wait I was no. waiting for the for the you're awesome thing to pop up. Uh, okay. Oh, you're not supposed to show him. I didn't see. I'm trying to do two things at once. I should have just had you do this so that way Let I could properly it. explain. But I think I think I've explained the whole game. Okay. If you want a better explanation, go watch Z. Z Z Garcia did a much better job of explaining how to play this game than me. That's what he said. Our game plays are not to learn how to play. It's to watch us fail at playing. No. All right. It's not true. It's not true. We don't fail. Okay, so these are your two starting tiles. So we both start with two. Why do I have three starting tiles? Oh, because I took the, the piggies for example purposes. Let's piggy back. All right. And then the reason you want... I did miss one. The reason you want to uh, turn yours in before you get a whole bunch, because at the end of the game, you can just turn them all in together. So say if I did only have five of a thing and they were in my hand, I could actually play all five of those as a set. But the sooner you turn them in, the sooner you get these little bonuses that are secret. We don't know what they are. I guess when you're doing all this, I guess you could use that bag to do all of this. Um, but the bag has coins. So on the top of some of these, you'll get to, if you want to choose to discard this, you can get the uh, mystery coin out of the, the mystery Sobic bag. Uh, I guess I can put this one here. Um, so those we don't need, those we don't need. These are the player power tiles. We'll probably need that because we'll have to reference these. All right. Da -da 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 -da. 
All right, so we do need to determine who goes first, and and how do we do that? No, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be wearing this, but I'm I'm afraid it's going to get clink 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 every time. So I'll just hold on to it since I'm currently the winner. With our twenty sided extra life die for children's miracle thing, which is what we're doing today. Los niños. You say what? Hmm? Odd. Well, normally I say something else about, you know, we're doing giveaways and oh. make sure you stay through the entire uh, gameplay because at the beginning of the gameplay, we're going to be giving this away. But again, if you want to get the bunch of games that are back there, click the link up there or over there or, or down there. I got <laughs> links everywhere. I'm odd. That is a 10. That is even. That means odd that he gets to go ten first. Again. 10 again. So you take the onk. And you have to choose one of the four in the center. So you might want to look at your two tiles you have already to see where you want to go. And then you have to look and the little, remember, the little brown marks is the way that you're going to orient the onk, which is the only row I can take from. What little brown? See the little brown dot, brown dot, brown yeah. dot, brown dot, brown dot in the corners. So that is where you can go? That I can only draw a tile from that row that, that it's pointing at. I mean, you're really trying to get what you want. Once you see what I've got, then you want to stop me from getting it. Right now, you can't stop me because you don't know what I'm so actually So these that we have now are, are, yours. are just random just resources already? To For your set. Yeah, for your set collection. Mm -hmm. And I want to get as many resources. So you can complete your sets and sell them. Yep. So on your turn, you can draw a tile, you can complete a set, or you can play a character i missed all your explanation <laughs> you missed my entire explanation okay well, well yeah definitely because you didn't lay this the right direction all right it was a corner tile yep corner all right so that means i can only take oh from... this side this is okay yeah so i can only take from <laughs> this row mm -hmm. do we have here the sets that we have to make no all right all right, back to you. So how? Old? Yeah, it's a set, just set. And uh, there's fish, there's bones, there's wood. I mean, you should see everything that's available right now. So you need to complete the same? Yes, you have to the same and you need to make sure you have at least one scarab, otherwise you're not gonna score any points. If you don't have a scarab, you don't score any points. So you can technically only take one tile. That one? Yep. That one, or this row? That, that one. one, because this is the only way the onk is pointing. Now, hang on, which way do I need to? Which way do you need to point the onk? This way. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. Once you start getting it, it, it starts to. Click. And these ones are just random thing? They're, it's a random one of these characters that have special abilities. Are all they good? Yeah, I think all the abilities are good. Mm. I don't know. I've never, I've not looked at all the abilities. I did not read the abilities. It's going to be a surprise for me. No, I'm gonna get this. And you don't know who they are, so it's really just random. It has to go. Now they're this way. Yep. That's fine. I'll take, I'll take him, and since I take the character, I can place this any direction that I want. How many sets can I ha can I have? Many. Of how many? Many. You need to have a minimum of three to sell your set. You can do sets of as many as you want. You can only add to a set if you have at least three to add. If you hold one to your tiles to complete a set, then you can do as many as you want at one time. So if you have five of the same thing, you could do one set of five if, if you wanted to wait that long. But again, then you don't get the bonus tiles over there on the left. So the first five sets get bonus tiles. I gotta check to see what this chica does. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play her. So she counts as a... So on the top corner, there is a tooth. So she counts as the bones. Um, but I'm going to play her. And basically what she allows me to do is take the first three tiles of the draw pile. So I get three free tiles by playing her. That was my action was playing her. Actually, I should have held off. And I want to complete one set. I just that's your action it. for that turn. If you want to complete it, that's your action for that turn is 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 completing it. I really don't want any of that, but at least this has got two scarabs. Maybe I can use it later. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and sell a set or complete a set. So I have my set of moo cows here. So I get to take all of these. All of them? I get to pick one and oh. then put them back. Which means I got to figure out what all these do. Okay. It's instant. You must do it right now. So some of these won't do much good. Uh, this is the best bet for me, is to give you plus two corruption right off the bat. Boop. 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 Uh, hola, buen día, Adri y Will. Uh, hola. This day, Bogota, Colombia. Dios. <laughs> Bandiga tan bonita labor y uh, lene Gene. llene de grandes frutos estas transmisión. Gracias. Gracias, papá. Gracias, papi. So what I got Some was basically two myself. corruption. So this automatically gave Adri dos corruption. I'm going to sell my set. So you're going to sell a set. So then you get to take all four of those and keep one and put Is the... Is my set correct? It just has to be the same thing. With yep. at least one of these things? With at least one. Technically, you don't have to do it with at least one um, scarab, but you better hope you get a scarab later. <laughs> mm -hmm. Better hope you get a scarab later. All right. Well, Audrey is doing that, although maybe one of the abilities. So these are all of the tiles that they do. So this one gives me one corruption. That that one I know is still in there. I can't remember the see, other ones. I never got that far to see what the other ones did. And then I randomly put this Just, in... Yeah, put it back. We can look at them every time. So, and really, you, so this does not have anything matter. to do with the raw? Nope. Kind of looks like it should, though, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, because no. it has this little thing. No, you just get to pick one. All right, so what do I got? Mm -mm. There we go. There we go. I kind of like this better than the... I, I, when I was reading this and seeing how this worked, I was thinking, you know, oh yeah, it's like the the, the little dragon game that we had. And it's like, I kind of, I actually kind of like this one a little bit better than the little dragon game. So far. So far. I guess I'll get me some... Some mas... Baka. So I can only take this one. No, everything in that row. So this one, this one, or this oh, one. Well, but, I, I got this one. All right, so now you can position this any way you want. You position it any way you want. This way, this way, this way, and mm. any, any way. No, can I change it? Yeah. <laughs> That's, I turned mine like four times. No, can I change it? <laughs> That's fine. Okay. It's your turn, no? Which 
way. Right, what else am I trying to get? I'm trying to limit like what I'm getting. So I'm gonna get this. That oh, way you don't. I'm gonna discard it though. So I'm discarding that token to get on the random points at the end of the game. So that is what it costs? The, that you already placed this? Yes. All right, so now we, no, I was gonna say, oh, now we're gonna do a refresh, but technically there's one more tile that's available. So that's what I had. Well, that, or you, again, you could complete a set or you could play um, a person. Where did it, where'd you pull it from here? <laughs> so which, which way do you want to put it? No, right. oh, oh, no you, can, you can technically do that, right? So since I can't do this, if I want to take a tile, I've got to refresh. Um, I'm not going to take a tile. I'm going to go ahead and complete a set, uh, which gives me another one of these. Uh, what's this thing do? Ooh, yeah, I want this. So I got plus two to my livestock. Which worked out great because I already had livestock. All right, so do that enough. So again, if you want to take a tile, we have to refresh. Otherwise, you have to play a character or be able to complete a set. Okay, so I'm gonna play him. Since so take any tile anywhere in the market into your hand, do not move the onk onk pawn. Or take any corruption. So I play him. And oh, we've been I messing up it? the whole time. Okay. We've messed. We've been forgetting to take the corruption. How, what it, we completely oh. messed up from the beginning. Okay, we have to start again. We have to start again. <laughs> so if you jump over tiles, you have to take the corruption and put them on your your board, your player thing. So we've been messing that up since the beginning. I um, would be already dead. Well, no, you so can have, you you can have take, corruption. So, I mean, you can, you should take then this or this, or if I take this or then this. Then you take uh, both of these as corruption. I was wondering why the board wasn't emptying out. And how corruption. do we mark the corruption? Do we? It puts it, you put the tile on your corruption. Oh, board. we get the tiles as well? Yeah, but oh. they go on the corruption board. Wow. All right, well, that changes things. So we have to restart. All right, so... Oh, I had a nice combat. I know, I know, I know. All right, so... Greece. 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 Toro. Toro, Toro, Toro. All right, let's see if we can do this correctly this time. <laughs> As it says, whoops. Oopsie, whoopsie. Oh, whoopsie. Welcome, welcome to us playing a game where we normally <laughs> we gonna get, we're going to we're gonna get one rule wrong. We're guaranteed to get one rule wrong. And unfortunately, the rule we got wrong was a very big one. Like, normally, if it's a small rule, it's fine. But we had played so much, there was no way for me to know how many corruption tiles each of us should have by that point. All right, so that was our warm-up round. Good thing I'm going to edit this video before I re-upload it. Hopefully I remember that we did that. So that was a, that was a what not to do. We don't, have, we don't have as many of the... Wait, do uh, I have 50 monedas? That's the, the points. Points at the end of the game. So it's not mine? Yeah, because you're that player, but you... No, you don't have 50 points right now. Oh, here. Uh, mix mix all those up. Where are the rest of them? Mix the mix stuff. Mix the mix stuff. Uh, you're playing advanced house rules. 
Uh, how many games, uh, it's inevitable to have some hiccups. Um, trying to learn one game and it's a challenge. I tell you, I read last night, I read six rule books, eight rule books. I read a bunch of rule books. I read, all, I read a rule book for every game we're playing today. So that's at least, at least eight, because I think one or two games we've already played before. So I didn't, didn't need to reread those. Although now after doing this, I might need to reread those. <laughs> Albany doesn't read rule books, so I she's always at, she's at the mercy of um, of me teaching her correctly, which, as we just saw, didn't happen. We don't have as many of the the dudes this time, though. All right, so extras. So I have those. You have those? And, and extras. All right. I have mine. You have yours. Uh, you won the dice roll, so you still get to go first. You still get to go first. Uh, Luz, my mom. Buenos dias, Adriana y Will. Felicitations Hola, por esta mama. obra tan linda que hacen por los niños. Dios los bendiga. Los queremos mucho. They, they both said that this is a very nice thing to do for the niños and God bless it and bless us. Gracias, mamá. Okay, so what did you do? You did, you did a thing. I got this you, one. You did a thing. All right, well, that's fine. This is three scarabs. Doesn't help me now, but that I'm, I'm, I don't want to take corruption now. Now that we know that corruption is bad. So, honestly, the only thing that corruption does is whoever has the least amount of corruptions uh, gets to draw one of these point tiles out of the bag. And then for every two or three um, tiles, Yeah, once, a cor uh, once you've tallied corruption, determine your final scores using, yeah, uh, corruption, 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 yeah, end of game, corruption. Uh, each player adds all tiles remaining in their hand to their corruption board. Each player counts the total number of tiles on their corruption board. Uh, the Whoever has the least gets one Debon token plus one extra for every three you have below your opponent. So that's why you don't want the corruption. If you see your opponent has one, go ahead and take one because you're going to be even, right? But if, well, your opponent, me, <laughs> right? You're good. But you want to make sure you're less overall. And these are wild. Don't forget, these count as any resource. The green ones? The green ones are wild. They count for anything. No me gusta la corrupción. Gracias. You just saw me take it. You just saw me take the bones. What makes you think I would? I did not. Uh, that looks cool. Yeah, pickle. It's fun. It seems it's it's kind of fun, um, <laughs> as long as you play it correctly. <laughs> hey, what do you what do you get? What do so you I'm get? gonna get corruption. Yeah. So you take the red and put it upside down on your corruption board. Uh, and then which way? Do, like yeah, that? like that. Which way does this need to be? Uh, oops. No, not that. One. No, my corruption. Um, like Same this. Same way. Ah, oh, you made me move everything. Oh, Earthquake! Adri. That's Adri's new nickname, Earthquake. <laughs> Adri Earthquake Wave. Um, which means I can't do anything. I can't turn anything in. So we have to refill. So this comes back. Uh, we start from here. So refill there. Then we do this one. Got to look on the bottom of their feet to see which way they're supposed to stand. And then you do the top one. Mm -hmm. There is a little thing that I should tell you there. Yeah, there is. There's. It's gray. It's very light gray, um, but it's got them. It's got them standing a certain direction. All right. Uh, and then I have to go back to the center. I uh, love two-player design games. Yeah, I like games that are directly at two-player because we play mostly a two-player. So it's like, it makes the uh, first impressions. Was it fun at two? Well, considering it's only designed for two. Yes. Yes, it was. Let me see here. 
I'm checking the Instagram. I forget what our next, what time is our next game? 12.30. There's a break in here somewhere. Don't remember where that is, though. All right. Uh, so an hour and a half. Yeah, there's no way we're going to get this and um, uh, brew done at the same time. Oh, uh, what do I got? Oh, are they supposed to go in the same hour or what? Brews, yeah, this is all in the same. Well, it was it was two and a half hours, but we had to restart this and we were late coming into this one. So, it, welcome welcome to our extra life stream. We're going to play every game that we're supposed to play. It just means for the rest of the day, our, our timing's no. going to be off. Oh. What did you do? There. Oh, that's not what you wanted to do. Oh, gracias. Oh. Gracias, mi amor. Tu es the bestest. Adri is the bestest at giving me what I want. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? Baby, baby. We didn't bring you. We didn't bring your treats in with us. We'll have to go get. We'll have to go get you some treats. I put this I don't know. She does not even have breakfast. Go eat, baby. Oh. The corruption. <laughs> well, no. I mean, I could. I can use either one of these. I forgot what you've been going after. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. She says. She says nothing. Is incorrect. No, so actually, see the first, first we are almost not doing that. Now, I don't know if Brothers Murph, anybody know if Brothers Murph is streaming today or Tabletop Live Network? I know we heard One Stop Co op Shop is also streaming today. Do they do weeks or not? Yeah, they, Tabletop Live, Brothers Murph started Tabletop Live, and so they have a team. Currently, they're number one and we're number two. But we're almost, I think they're at 1525. <gasps> we're at 1513. So the goal is to beat the Brothers Murph. That's the goal. Help us, help us. So go out on social media and tell the Brothers Murph we're going to take them out from the number one spot. <laughs> not on, not on like, you know, actual YouTube no, extra stuff life. because that probably could never happen. I've been watching a lot. Like, what's weird? Brothers Murph, when I first watched them, I didn't, yeah, I didn't turn? get their humor. humor. No, no, I, I think, think it's, it's my turn because you just took that. I didn't get their humor, but now like I kind of get their humor and I'm like, okay with it. Um, I'm going to take this. Okay. Um, and I got to figure out what this person does. So Ooh. Take that or that. I guess this. That's why these are over here. So after the thing, it says take these pierogi tokens and it says keep them set aside. One of the player abilities is you get to randomly take one of these tokens. So the question is, do you use this as a wild, because it, it's got the wild symbol, or do I use it for the pierogi token? Do so you draw three? Choose one and use its ability. Hmm. Um, I don't like anything you gave me that well no. Ta -ta -ta -ta. No, I'm be good. thankful, Will. I'm I'm good. You gave me you gave me umukaus. So technically we're actually playing correctly this time, but we still haven't done much in the way of corruption. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Doesn't look like the Brothers Murph is streaming, uh, at least on YouTube. No, I think you got to go. It, it's on there. It would probably be on Twitch and it would be on Tabletop Live. But I went to their Twitter and I don't think they're they're streaming this week. I know they're streaming next week during Monopoly week because they're having all the content creators play Monopoly, which we're going to play Monopoly too. So I got to find a version of Monopoly to play. Um, I've heard the board game Monopoly is the most fun and least monopoly like so if you guys got a recommendation because oddities never played monopoly i do I, have i think i did when it classic was little monopoly. the classic classic but but with with were they were they the, the u.s the places thing. with park place and saint charles or were they spanish location names like places in colombia no i don't maybe remember. we should we I should see if so, somebody find us a colombia monopoly that's what we need all right so you went there i don't like any of that 
So I'm gonna play her. I'm gonna play her. Uh, so I get to draw three. I'm gonna do this one, this one, and this one. And I get to pick one. Mm. Oh, that's not bad. But who plays that there? Me? You did, because I I basically oh, played, played this, it. yeah. Okay. Um, so now I have now, to You pick. have to wait till I choose this. Don't look at me. Yes. Oh, this is a tough one. Because... No, I think I'm going to do this. I th one of the tokens would allow me to take another turn. Uh, but instead, I'm going to do the one where whatever I draw from here is going to be worth twice as much. Disney geek. Oh, Disney? Now, is the Disney one like... Is it still like Monopoly Monopoly or is it like got special rules? Because that's the thing. I know that um, the Monopoly for the gaming Monopoly has special rules, right? Because I think it's got like Mario Kart or something. Uh, Monopoly brings out the worst in people. <laughs> I don't th if you play it correctly, I don't think so. And in two players is probably not as bad. So, yeah, you can go now. Sorry. Ah. No, that one of the tiles would have given me another turn. I didn't take that tile. This tile here, I get to take another turn. Oh, do I want corruption? Yeah. I don't want that much corruption. Nope, I'm gonna do a turn in. One, two, three. So I'm gonna do my turn in of the wonderful... Um, that I did for you. That you I did, did that for me. you. And I think I can only do one turn in. Okay. But there's, I know there's Other other time. monopolies that have more of a, like, it actually changes the game. Like, it's got extra rules. A lot of the ones from USAopoly, I think, do that. It, the ones from Hasbro, no. It's it's usually just Monopoly. But I think most of the ones with USAopoly have different rules that they add to the game to make it unique for that theme. Which, technically, I guess, if, if, if that's the case, I guess we just need to reach out to USAopoly and see if they'll send us a Monopoly. Where's, is it, well, yeah, your turn. Uh, sell a set. Where's my, where's sell a set? Okay, sell a set. I guess the, the term A defines that it's one. So, okay, so two turn. Still? Yeah. You have a lot of tiles. I'm going because to I sold, same. because okay. I sold a set. I am going to do the same. So, what about it? Just leave it there? Uh, yeah, the Disney, because I think the Disney is by Hasbro, not by the OP. I think. Or I choose one of these. Oh, hang on. I forgot to choose mine. I Because when I sold mine. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you still get those. I mean, that's your worst. I get to choose one of these first. And then what's this do? Oh, they're not. Oh, there it is. Mm. Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, actually, I think I'm gonna do this one. All right, this is this is a mean tile. <laughs> this yes, game has yes. this game has some meanness to it. So, basically, it says place this marker um, on a tile of your choice along the line indicated by the onk. Your opponent must take that tile. So actually, you would have had to take this tile on your turn. So no, since That's since exclusive? since you're <laughs> yeah, you'd have to take this tile on your turn. So you can't sell because we're rewinding a little bit. So you have to take that tile. Uh, I, I'm not liking that rewinding anymore. Re rewind. So you have to take that tile. <laughs> but he's pointing up there. No, so. you have to take the tile that he sent it on. Yeah. He's pointing Here. up this, there. This this tile. <laughs> That's Here you go. Mm. Benada. Ah. Uh? Because that's why. <laughs> yeah. 
I have such a maniacal laugh. I hate these games when you do. You have changed that. a lot, Will. <laughs> you 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 were not like this before. Okay, so it's Miterno. Uh, there's nothing that I can take. So, because Adri cleared it out for us. So. Mm -hmm. You don't just want me to lose all the games on game day. Lose all the games on game day. For me. Normally you do you do really good on games that we've not played. No, no, you do good on the games that we've I not was played doing that, good have, that have the very... The first time we started playing this thing. That have very and complex rules. And then you rules. said, oh, we're not taking corruption. <laughs> Let's start all over again. <laughs> and then I get all of the three scarab bones. <laughs> No, see, I'm that's, you more. A, that's not right. That's not right. The gray ones. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> I thought you meant me taking all the three scarab. <laughs> okay, now it's me, Tarno. What do I want in the middle? Hang on. What am, what am I getting? I don't know what I'm getting. Um... No, no, you. Okay. Let's just be Okay, now you can do your turn in if you want to do your turn in, unless you'd rather take a tile now. Let me check. Um, pull it back out. Uh, it is Hasbro. Don't see any extra. Yeah. So I think it's got to be USAopoly. So it's got to be a USAopoly version of Monopoly to have extra rules. Oh, Andre. Andre, you're always the best. No worries. Si. Mi amor es mucho mejor. Gracias. Uh, what are you what are you giving me? Give me red tiles. Do I need red tiles? What's that? Uh, I'm fine. I'll take this over here. I think that's what I'm yeah, I'm taking those. Remember, do your turn in so you can get a you wanna get a bonus. Cause you whatever you don't if you don't turn it in, if it's a set, you can sell it at the end but it doesn't count towards your sets okay i'm selling um it. but if you can't then remember they go into your corruption tile i'm selling it so just leave it there and pick up one well put it close to you so you, your sets wherever you want to put your sets they're your sets there so pick all of these all of them yep and then pick one mm -hmm. are you sure you pick all of them or you yeah, pick you, randomly you, while they are there no you grab all of them i don't see the point of placing them there then i don't either I guess just to show that there's five. I was so shuffling. <laughs> She's shuffling so she can randomly coffee. take one. She hasn't got her second coffee yet. You gotta wait for lunch for that. That's only the benefit. The only benefit is these funds are these these streams are much more fun when we're sleep deprived. Because tomorrow's stream is gonna be great. Because <laughs> Devin tokens, Devin tokens. The these in here, the point tokens that are in here. There's put, they're all of them are worth something. I don't think any of them are zero. Put the other back in the back without revealing it. Yes, yeah, so you look at two of them. Whichever one has the higher amount, you keep and put the other one back in the bag. That's all. That was actually the one I was thinking about doing. I didn't get this one. Um, if you have one of those three things, you can just put it on top already. So you can't do that because you don't have one of those three things. It basically gives you two more spells. Well, I do. That's what I had last game. You're, I... What, and you need to hurry up and build that before I build that. During final score, I have to... Even better when also, you and us are sleep deprived together. Yes, yes. This is weird. You, you can't... No, it's... Places token on a set you've previously sold. You can't play um, that one yet. But can I take it now? No, this no, set you have... have to... Yeah, these are immediate actions. <laughs> Your best bet is either take the seven, seven. points... Or to try to see if you can get better than that here. I don't I don't know what the highest number is in here. I guess we should look that up for future games. Oh, this definitely goes over seven. I, my, mine that I've got might be slightly more than seven. All right, so it's Minterno. All right, so this just makes sense. So hang on. Okay, so it's the same. All right, so I'm going to complete a set. Why? Because I want that, I want that one tile. Hey, I got it right off the bat. There are two. Oh, were both of them in there? Oh, okay. Well, let's do that now. Come on, person. All right. Which way do you want to sit your onk? Mm, let's leave it like 
grab ah oh, like that no it gives you too many wood things like that what do you mean it gives me too many wood things you're pointing at the good first. things good th oh well that's the same no i meant because of this yeah, but it will have to take, take corruption. corruption okay like that Came a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he bone do. That's fine. I'll go ahead and do this. I'll take the corruption. I will take on corruption. Max! What's Max and name? You're leaving it like uh, Disney that? Monopoly is normal rules. Uh, you can get it fairly cheap on eBay. See, we were actually, if we really wanted to play Disney Monopoly, we'll go up to the uh, Disney Park and pick it up there. Although it's probably the same version. I don't know if they have a, if it's a Disney Park special version. I think it might be. Oh, my God. You can either take these or take or that take as a corruption. corruption. But this gives you, this you can use as the moo cows or you can discard it to get one token. Yeah. Anyone with this, you can discard to get a token. From the bag. That's what and I did on the and when can practice I do, game. Oh, this is not it. <laughs> we'll call that the practice game. Pero I have three corruption. You have only one. Uno. Es uno. Es muy bien. I uh, prefer the parks edition. It's different. Because, yeah, I think you're buying the different parks. The different uh, attractions, right? I still think I'd rather play one that has, like, special fun rules. Um, I'll go ahead and finish this one. So I'll complete that one. No tiles. Means I'm definitely going to have to take a tile next turn. I'm going to give this one. Do you have to know what it is? I know why. I don't know. That's what it says. It says the only time it's a secret is when it's soon here. All right, so you get that last one. So basically, you get to draw two in the bag and keep one. And then you put it face down. I shouldn't know what this is. It's like secret points. <laughs> there is something that I don't know what it is. <laughs> it should all be announced. Nope. Oh. They should, all, they should all be amounts. <laughs> yeah, you want to look at the side with the amounts on it. <laughs> okay. Put the extra back. Okay. See, we don't need to give Odd any coffee. We're good. All right. It's me there, no? I want a wild or I don't want the... I think I'll take him. What's he do? Ah. That wild counts like a wild wild with thingies or no? Or mm -hmm. the well, green one counts. This is a wild. Yeah, that counts as anything. But any product or any any any, any product. Yeah, it just counts as one of the one of the goods. And I've got this here where it says the rules, but it doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't show what we're doing. But I don't have to do it to use it now. I can No, no, it. you just added your hand, it counts as, as good. Alright. Um I'm gonna play him just because it's fun to play these. Uh I get to steal one tile from you. So I have to all your tiles. You you no. don't you take them out of their stack, so I don't know what's a oh, stack Jesus. and what's not. Because this one does not all of them. No, my chick. See? My, no. Randomly steal one tile from your opponent's hand and add it to yours. They are allowed to look at the backs of the tiles when choosing one tile. Or you are allowed to look at the backs of the tiles. So I can either take your person or I can try to take goods. So like the gray goods are no good because there's no scarabs on them. So I'm not going to take that. And I don't know what your person is. So I don't know if that's any good. All right, hang on. Are you, are you looking at your tiles? Good. Right. Take this 
<laughs> now you, no. Now you gotta figure out what I thought. Salute. Salute, yeah. mas. Salute, mucho mas. Thank you. Can you tell me what it is? Or... Mm. Oh, I see. It's the gelatin. <laughs> it's the gelatin. I don't think it's gelatin. I think it's gems. It looks like meat. It's like, uh, what's what's a red gem? Ruby? I guess it's rubies. Yeah. Right. So you can play. You can take. You can. Do what you want. You've been holding on to that dude, so I'm thinking you're you're I should have taken I should have taken that card, your 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 character tile. Yeah. Cause I feel like I feel Hi. like you really want that character card. Alright, then which way do you want it to? You choose the direction. I Okay. That doesn't help me. That's fine. Let's start working on this. Okay. The there, no? I'm just going to give you all the characters. You're going to have all the special abilities. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't know what you want. Oh, you're trying to see what your people do. <laughs> now remember, they can be used for the resource or their ability. Because all of them have a resource in the top left hand corner. Ah, uh, see, see, see. There's really no benefit, technically, to do an exact reset, just because we can still refill one more time. Uh, but after that pile's gone and we can't refill, and you can't take any tiles, that, that will be end of game, and anything that's not a set comes correct. Do I have to have a certain amount of sets? No. Okay. Oh. You're gonna, what you're gonna did I do? I, I was supposed to play. No, you're... Oh, you're gonna play. Okay. I'm gonna play this. Alright, so what's that say? Take any tile anywhere in the market into your hand. Don't move the unk pawn or take any corruption. Okay. Do I take it now? Yeah, now you can take it. Uh, that's fine. I'll take I'll take this dude here. Alright. What did I get? Oh, I saw Chica. Ooh. What did you get? This one is some chica. That's not a chica, so that's not it. You sure? She's a chica. She is, but this is not. The architect? No, architect is not a chica. I already had the architect. Yeah, okay. He was up there already. These chicas are un poquito old. Old chicas? Did okay. you get Duterno. this one? Duterno. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to figure out what I've got. <laughs> Don't try to figure out what I got. Ay, ay, mi chica. I'm gonna play me chica. Okay. Do you get? Do you take her? Add one or two tiles from your hand to a matching set of goods you previously sold. Okay, that was a good combo. C -c -c combo breaker. Yeah, you should let me repeat my action. That's fine. I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> Mass gelatin. I still think they call it a jello. <laughs> oh, but he's calling it jello. Hey, don't take my jello. Huh? You can have the jello. That's fine. <laughs> it's jello with two scarabs, which is worse. <laughs> Technically, I probably should have taken the other one. Oh, dang it. I don't want those. I don't want those either. Mm. 
That's gonna be a pain in the pain in the bananas. B A N A N A S. All right. Um. This will take me some mook owls. That like that? It's like that? Yeah. Which way? Um, that's fine. Thank you. But guess what? You cannot take any tiles. So you either need to play a character or sell a set or we refill. Because now it's going to be strategic to. Uh, Oh, you got tiles hanging out down there. Yeah. Well, I mean, the other option is to refill. We do still have tiles, so this would be the last refill. So it's saying. Refill, refill. So you get this. One. Those two. don't go. Those don't go like that. Yes. Oh, you're right. Those don't go that way. Not too late now. Was he? What, do you even know what he does? I don't know what he does. I, Don, I, I couldn't read. <laughs> do you even remember what Huey was? Yes. Well, then here, let's do this then. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know how to remember. <laughs> okay, hang on. There we go. Now we don't know where they went. <clears throat> you have to do one of four in the middle. Espera un momento. I didn't know if you saw where it was. Kidding me. I don't want that one. Why'd you do that to me? Okay, keep that enough. This could get dangerous very quick. But why are you giving me all these? Well, no, it's this oh. or the tusks. The problem is we're both gonna probably get stuck with. with or is what this thing means? You can you discard just... it. Yeah, you can discard it instead of taking it and get one of the coins. This way. Which points to here? That's fine. Just get one. Please. Just one. Yep. 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 All right. So do that enough. Can you play? Do you get to play your character cards at the end? That's a question. No, so you don't get to play your, you don't get to play your character cards. Um, if you have, if you have character cards in your hand, you won't get to play them. So if you're going to want to play it, I mean, you want to play them before or make sure that they're part of a set that you can complete. Um, because sets that you can't complete. You discard, and I think you take a tile. I gotta, re I gotta reread that. So sets that you can't complete. Um, set of goods left in the hand and remove them from the game. These tiles, are okay, no, you just remove them so they don't count against you. The player who ended the game can't have any sets in their hand because while well, they ended the game, I mean, they, if they had a set, they would have played it. So you, 
Is it's okay if you have some tiles at the end of the game? No. It's not that okay. That goes into corruption. You want to try to complete, which is where this becomes more strategic and tactical to make sure that we're not leaving it to where you can't pick up something else on your turn, right? Because like right now, I could technically pick something up that would end the game, but then I won't be able to complete what I want on what I have. If you complete all of your things, you win? No. No, no, I already did that once. Um, I don't, all right. Uh, I'm going to do a set. Okay, your turn. So if I don't set my sets before we end the game... They all go to corruption. Why? Well, no, a set won't go to corruption. A set just gets discarded and doesn't count for points. If it's not a set, it goes to corruption. So right now, these are you've got those three tiles to choose from. Or complete a set. Or play, play, or play a character tile if you got powers. How do I want to put this so that way it doesn't end the game? So each of the sets is going, each product. Oh, oh hola, I missed you. <gasps> hey! What's that? <laughs> How many do you have? <laughs> How many tiles in total? The game's gonna be over in like a turn. Twelve. Or two. <gasps> the team is the game's no. gonna be over in a turn or two. I I'm turning in something. That's that was what I was saying. Because look, if you look at this and water, look. If you took this one, yes, you'd be able to take that. It would still be in this row. But if you took this but one, it would end the game. So it was my turn to do what? To play something. Play to sell a set, to take a tile. But how do I know if it is going to be one turn or no? play a character. You just have to look at where this can possibly move and what would happen if you did something then I did something, right? That's if you took this, it'll end the game. Well, it might end the game because I may or may not have a set that I can turn in if, if you took that one, right? If you took that one, then of course now we're up and down. We still have some more tiles that we could take, possibly, right? But at the same time, I mean, you don't know, right? I could take this one and end the game before you have another chance to go, unless you can build a set on your turn. I'm going to turn this in. Okay. I will take the corruption. The corruption. Now, how many tiles do you have in your hand? Seven. I could have convinced you to do one thing or the other. Both would not have been in your to your, to your advantage. I know. You take him, or you take the character and take. Yeah, take one more corruption. If I if I sell my set right now, you're, you're good. You can just sell your set right now. And then I okay, I'm gonna sell my set right now. Okay, uh, I'm going to since you did that. This is this is why I was wondering how many cards you had in your hand. I had this guy, the scribe. Uh, if your opponent has six or more tiles in their hand, they must place tiles on their corruption board until they have the only six in their hand. So when you had twelve, you would have had to put six tiles on your corruption board. So that's why what? I, I was okay, trying so not to act like I wanted you to make a set or not make a set. But similarly, if you would have gone here, you would have ended the game and I would not have been able to complete a set. So both kind of benefited me. You completing a set benefited me, you not completing a set benefited me. So I'm gonna add all these guys, all these, 
all these cows, because I have at least three of them, to me cow pile. Not not a cow, not that kind of cow pile. <laughs> cow patty. Yeah. Alright. Tuterno. So you can take one of those two. Or well, that's it. I'm gonna take this one and see. I know, but I will take corruption. I'm take no corruption. Remember, all the corruption if... does is it allows me to take a coin if I have the least amount of corruption. At the corruption is just getting free points and possibly more free points if you have three more than me. So right now... So if you had five, I would get two coins. Right now, regarding what's in our hands, because you don't know and I don't know what's going to happen, right now, I would get one coin. If you had five, I would get two coins. At four, I still only get one coin. I have to have... You have to have three more than what I have for me to get bonus coins. So whatever I don't complete, it goes to corruption? Unless it's a set. And then it just gets discarded. One more. You grab the bones. You already have two bones in your hand. Sí, pero I don't have which, the, which the thingy. What thingy? The golden thingy. Oh, for points. The, it does not count, you said. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't count unless you get points. So that stays that same direction, so I will take the character. What's he do? Oh. Um, You'll be ending the game, meaning I won't get another turn. I'm gonna turn the book down. See? See? Okay. I could I, I could have actually set it up to the game would end, but unfortunately I don't want to do that. <laughs> doesn't serve doesn't serve my purpose to end the game right now. I need to, I need one more turn. Once I put there, I cannot. You can add to it, but you have to have a minimum of three to add to it. A minimum of three. Of the same in, type. In my add, hand? In your hand to add to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which way do you want to set your honk? It'll, Wait, it'll, be, can it'll you... be here. Oh. Yeah, I'll just set it that way so you know you haven't set it yet. That's the six, which I don't, so she basically counts as a fish for you. No need a fish. You got fish down there. But I cannot add it. If you have three total fish. In my hand? In your hand. I, I don't. Maybe, maybe you'll get more fish if you set the on correctly. You're gonna take it. No, I'm also... gonna turn these. I'm gonna turn this in. I don't want these in my hand. So there, I turn those in. So now you can take your fish. And that'll end the that'll... Okay. Which unfortunately still ends the game. Without you being able to complete that set. Well, I can't complete this. You can't, you can't, because I can't um... make a turn. That still ended the game. Yes, right. for dead. All right. So, end of game. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. So, end of game. Uh, draw pile is empty. You can't play. I can't play I anything. This is on my turn. The game ends immediately when uh, a player, which is me, has no valid actions. Um, dun -dun -dun. All right. When the game ends, both players must tally up their corruption. The player who did not end the game... Um, has any valid set of goods left in their hand? So do you have a valid set of goods in your hand? No. Set of three of anything? Without without thingy. No, but you get the wild. Pero you said no, the valid wild. set. Valid set. That's a valid set. Okay. So if you discard that. Just get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Adios. 
All right. Um, each player adds all remaining tiles in your hand to your corruption pile. All right. Each player counts the total number of corruption. I have but ace. I have seis. Seven? Seis. Oh, with this? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six. So that means I get two extra tokens. All right. So now we add up our points. So this is this is more math is involved. Oh, where'd our, where'd our Colombian pin go? Colombian pin. Pin de Colombia. Uh, that was fun. Uh, looking for more two-player games to play with. Uh, I like the Pandasaurus games too. Um, yep, so we'll go ahead and start while we're calculating score. That way this gets done so we can start the next game. We will go ahead and start the giveaway for a copy of Sobic. Uh, so let me go ahead and hit complete. Uh, giveaway. Start a giveaway. All right. So the giveaway has started. So you guys should see exclamation point para los niños. Um, so do exclamation point para los niños in the chat. I don't know why I got it saying raffle. It should say giveaway. But yeah, so Battle of Los Niños in the chat will get you um, a copy or a chance to win a copy of Sobic Two Players. So we need to add our... Sets. Sets. So it is... I don't know if we really need to write this down because you can probably do it on the head. So I've got one, two, three, four. I got five sets. We'll do set one. Set two, set three, set four, set five. Uh, we'll do our little, what are those things called? Mm, Debbins. Yeah, Debbin. Uh, is that everything you can score points for? Yeah, tiles and Debbins. Okay. So, oh, wait a minute. You don't need to do a scoreboard. There's a scoreboard on the back. It was like, what? Um... You asked about, you're like, what's the point of these things? Okay. So. Um, I will do, so do your score, talk. so basically just move your, where's your little marker? You need this too. No, no, no. No. Yeah. No, nah, that's just another player. Just your, your thingy. All right. And then just move your thing according to your score. So let me make sure I multiply my resources by this. So yeah, times. each tile. So you count how many scarabs you have. Three, four, five, six. So I have six times one, two, three, four, six, five, one, two, three, four, eight. Five. Six times eight three. is what is me? Fifty two. Why am I struggling with that math? What? Eight times six. Eight were always my, my least favorite. 40, 45 is 8 times 5, so it's, yeah, 52. No. 56? That's 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 58. Oh, uh, Ryan, you missed that one? That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll open it back up real quick. I can open it back up. Uh, resume entries. There we go. It's resumed. There you go, uh, Ryan. You should be able to go ahead and put in. I, I owe you this one anyways, remember, because of the uh because <laughs> of the, the snafu with the other giveaway. Fifty-three? Mm -hmm. Holy cow, my brain is not thinking. Alright, go to the calculator. My... Forty eight I'm more five times. Eight is forty. Oh, it's forty. And then you have eight. I said forty-five. Why was I thinking forty-five? We'll see. All right. So yeah. So forty. Would you say forty-eight? Yeah. Okay. So I'm almost just off this one pile. I was almost around the block. One, two, three, four, five. Four. So that's twenty. So that puts me at sixty. Eight. If I have only one, it. That's one times, yeah, one times. 
That's sad. Twenty-seven. Didn't feel like doing that. Uh, um, two times three is six. Um, how do I track that I went around the board? To, uh, I should be at a hundred now. I know will. You win already. Okay. <laughs> uh, not that one. Eight. <laughs> Right. And then two times this coin. So that's sixteen, which would be thirty five. And then another ten. Two <laughs> siento. So one hundred. Wait, I didn't. What no, about corrup this? corruption was just for these coins. Okay. That's all this does. So, yeah. So that was one hundred and forty-five to seventy-three. Seventy-three. So almost double, double the score. Um. Oh, ketchup. It said ketchup games. I was wondering if they put a ketchup mechanic in there. Uh, but no, I guess not. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and do the drawing while I'm doing that. Audrey will throw all of this back in the box. I'm not really worried about uh, putting them in the bags right now. Just get it all back in the box and we will get brew started after this. Uh, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, so let's go ahead and we are going to draw the winner. Oh, oh hang on, I gotta close entries. Close entries. There we go. All right, so we're gonna pick a winner. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Elijah, Elijah Johnson, wins a copy of Sobic. So uh, Elijah, same thing. Uh, reach out to us on one of the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or email us at contact at gettingjiggly.com, uh, which is in our about section. So, uh, And we'll just uh, get your information so we can send it off to Pandasaurus. And they will send you a copy of the game. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and put up the Be Right Back screen. Um, we're going to go ahead and get set up for brew. So if you guys need to go to the bathroom or get a drink or uh, walk the dog, uh, do all of those things, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Adios. Ciao. Ciao. So my why to help kids' health at KU Pediatrics is because of my cousin T. She uh, has been battling cancer for a few years now, and she's six, and uh, I just can't wait till she becomes this amazing, incredible individual as an adult and has gone through that thanks to the support of people like you. Life. 
that's I chose to support Seattle Children's because of how great they are. They're really good for the, the kids.
How we doing, everybody? Welcome Hi, back to this episode of Getting Jiggly With. I'm still Will. I'm still Audrey. And we're still doing what? Extra Life Game Day. Extra Life Game Day. Uh, what game are we playing now? Brew. Brew. Just brew. Brew. Uh, brew is a game by Pandasaurus. Of course, Pandasaurus is sponsoring this segment of the Extra Life Game Day gameplay and giveaway. That's a lot of stuff. Um, so we will be giving away a copy of Brew to uh, whoever's still here at the end of the stream and enters. Uh, Brew is a, I, I say worker placement, but of course it is a dice placement. I got dice. Uh, where you're trying to brew potions, tame some cute little animalis, uh, and get the most victory points. Uh, so that said, I'm going to flip over the camera, do a quick run through. Hope Audrey understands, because again, I didn't have a chance to tell her how to play this game yet. <laughs> There we go. We are set up for a two-player game of brew. And why is that? Because there are two brewers? Because there are two brewmasters. Yeah, we'll, 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 go, we'll go with that. All right, let's see if it all still fits without me having to zoom out the camera a bit. All right, as long as we can see the... Well, we can't really see all that. And then we got to be able to see our guys. And I'm going to have to zoom out just a touch. We'll go to 28. There we go. That's plenty. That might be too much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Right about there, maybe. we got to make sure we can see our guys. That's what. All right. Uh, uh. That and I have OCD. Oh, I forgot the extra life thing is uh, up there. Because on the camera, it's fine, but on, the, and on this, you lose a little bit because the extra life thing. Um, that should be fine. We can, everything should be there now. All right. So there we go. So we are set up for brew. Uh, in brew, we're basically going to be rolling our dice. So you get four of your own dice uh, and two, uh, just they call them elemental dice. So based on the symbol, you are going to be able to send them out to these forest areas. Uh, it has a little bit of area control because whoever is... Um, Controlling the forest at the end is going to be able to capture the forest. The benefit of capturing a forest is if you end up taming an animal and you end up releasing the animal, if it matches the forest type, you're going to get more points because you flip this over and get three points instead of the normal one point at the end of the game. All right. Uh, some of the dice do different things, so we'll go over them. So if you get a flame symbol, it can be placed on top of another dice because, of course, normal worker placement, you can only have one in an area, right? If you get the water symbol, agua, uh, when placing on an ingredient space, you get two ingredients instead of one. Uh, and for the wind dice, uh, if you place the wind dice, uh, it may be exchanged with one of your placed dice um, in the forest and you return that back to your pool. So basically it allows you to take your dice back is, is what that allows you to do. Um, your dice are just going to be the different resources. So you got your, your wood, your pet, your, what is it? You got the wood things, you got mushrooms, you got little gems, um, and plantas. And then there is a wild token as well. Wild token. I don't know if they show up up there. I guess they do somewhere. I don't know how we get wild tokens. Oh, uh, in the city. Ah, the city maybe gives us well to this, right? Yeah. So that's the worker placement. That's getting your resources. You get those resources so that way you can brew potions. So over here on the side, you got brew potions. Brew potions, of course, are worth points as well. Three, four, five, six points. Um, they have a requirement for how to brew them. So many resources. But they also give you an ability that you can drink the potion and get said ability. Uh, I don't know what those say, so I guess read us what those abilities are. This one says, remove a placed element die. Mm -hmm. Change one of your unplaced dies to any face. Mm -hmm. Remove any placed die and move any placed forest die into any empty forest space. So, okay. So your forage die or your color die, elemental die or the white die. All right. Animals, same thing. They're going to give you some type of ongoing effect. So, for example, this one. Um, this one says, place any element on this card, gather one of each ingredient. So basically, if you put your die here, like that, boop, then you basically get one of each ingredient. So that's actually a pretty good animal there. Uh, this one here, at the end of the round, you may trade one wild for two victory points or two wilds for four victory points. Again, got to figure out how to get the wilds. 
Um, this one, the first time you scorch a space on your turn, gather one wild. Well, there's a wild. So scorching, which I don't know where the Enfuego tokens went. Hmm. Oh, tokens de Enfuego. Necesito tokens de Enfuego. Uh, the Enfuego tokens are basically blockers. So if you have an ability that allows you to, to put fire, then you can be like, oh, Audrey's going after, you know, this one, right? And I've already got control. I don't want her to come in. Or I guess this one would be a better example because there's one, two, three, four, five, or this one, four, right? I can put that there. That prevents her from being able to go there. And then she can't have majority control or same thing on the five, right? Um, and then it's the same thing when you place a, um, when you place in the village, scorch any empty fire space. So another way to add fire. Uh, the village has other things. You can train a creature. So this is how you get the creatures. You can um, gather one of any ingredient. You can remove all element dice from all forests. So it just takes all the element dice out. Element dice can prevent you from getting majority because if it gets majority, nobody gets the forest. Um, and then this one's gather one wild resource plus reveal and reserve one potion. Okay, so then you get to look at the potion and hold it for yourself. Um, this one here, gather one of each ingredient. Um, all of these are single use, so only one person can be here. Um, and then these ones are multi-use. You can put as many dice as you want. You can see here, it's got like a mm -hmm. shadowy effect going on. Uh, and then once that happens, once that round's over, we're gonna flip over and the board changes a little bit. So we have the nighttime board with slightly different effects. All right, that's mm -hmm. pretty much it. This is supposed to be a 45 minute game. Uh, we will put that to the test. Uh, <laughs> Joseph, gotta say, as nice as it is to pop in and um, pop in and win a free game, there's no feeling and life better than making a difference. Thank you so much for doing this and driving us to donate. Mm. Para los niños, gracias for gracias. showing up. It, I, we even said this in our giveaway video, just people coming out to the streams, our normal streams, these streams, even if you don't donate, it it helps because it makes us more energetic in the stream. The thumbs up, of course, help the YouTube algorithm. Going and commenting on our videos, if you can't come out to the YouTube stream, that helps. And that's one thing that like, the, that interaction is really why we do this. Raise awareness for extra life. But the whole reason we do YouTube is for that interaction with, with the community, with you guys. Um, and we don't always get that. So we like when we get game day and people come out and, because otherwise this would be a very boring, more pl 24 <laughs> plus hours because we're probably looking at about 14 15 hours today 14 15 hours tomorrow all right so we do need to determine who goes first and how do we do that okay with our 20 sided extra knife die para los niños, para that, los niños. that we support and, and we're currently support supporting well. and you're used to your normal saying you have to change it for today. <laughs> it's the same but you can support today by clicking the link uh, that we have pinned up above or the links down below uh, of course we are doing the big donation giveaway so if you're still watching this and it has not been the end of the month because this is running until the end of november 2022 you can still enter to win a big bundle of giveaways some of the games back there behind us you can go check out the video to see the full um amount of games now of course some of them we are giving away during the stream uh brew that we're playing right now is one of those games um i'm gonna say odd because i I'm, I'm an odd one i always say odd seven that is odd that means i get to go first uh is there a second player advantage sometimes there, the, when you do worker placements there is a second player advantage There's turn order. Choose a first player. First player, the last player to brew a cup of tea or coffee makes the... Hey, I did brew coffee last. I made coffee this morning. Para yeah. mi amor. Uh, so there is no so advantage cute. to being the uh, second player. Some some worker placements do that, so that way you can... You, because you lose a spot. So the first thing we need to do is roll our die. Roll your die. Which we do one? it simultaneous, all of them. Oh, all six. Dice. Okay. Roll your dice. All right. So I don't have any potions. I don't have anything. Like so there's potions over here that need to be made. Looks like crystals are really, really important. Um, and I really like that. Where was that one animal I liked? 
Oh, I like both of those, kind of. All right, uh, I'm going to go here. Yeah, I'm going to go there, which gives me one crystal. That's your turn? That's my turn. I'm going to go here. Okay, so I will need to make this and this. See? Or how... Hmm? I should be collecting to make to gain this or to gain this. Those. You're okay. collecting to gain that and trying to get area control so you can gain the forest. So I'm going here to get a crystal. Now, right now, the only thing we can do on our turn is roll the die and play the die. Uh, cheers, guys. I got to run, uh, unfortunately. Good luck. All right, Max. Well, Thank we will you. be here all day, Max. You can come join us for one of the other uh, game plays. And, of course, we'll be tomorrow. here all day tomorrow. So, yeah, you're trying to get those ingredients. And then once you have ingredients, then you can do multiple things on your turn. You can brew. You can drink. All right. Okay, so I went here for crystal. So, one crystal. Um, oh, that's right. To tame a beast, you just tame a beast. You don't, it doesn't really require anything specific. So I'm going to go here. I think I'm going to go ahead and get, I kind of like him because he gives me like everything and then I don't have to worry about the elemental dice uh, hurting me out in the field. So it looks like all of these autumn guys, that's what they, they seem to be resource gatherers. So I'm wondering Excuse if they all have a very similar thing. I just placed the, so die, how, any die. How do you get him? Because I trained a creature. Okay. You can train a creature too if you want. Oh, we don't. This is not a token or anything. Mm -mm. This, that nah, you just get one of the cards. You can have three cards total. You can have four. I forgot. We forgot to go over our special abilities. What's your special ability? Oh, uh, you may spend one wild, see, mm -hmm. to treat it as a trainer train creature. Eye. Yeah. Space instead. You may have up to four active creatures. So basically, you can spin this as a train action if you wanted to as well. Um, now, you can have four creatures. I can only have three. After that, you have to release one of your creatures. It could even be the one that you, you've you obtained. Um, each forest space can only have one creature. So. Mm -hmm. Now that I know what creature I have. And at the end of the game, you'll, you'll release your creatures at the end of the game too. So you don't have to worry about like releasing them early. Um, you can wait until you have to release one. Uh, Make sure you don't I'm going to knock your dice over. No, I'm going to go here. All right, gain one of any and ingredient. So I want planta. All right. Um, what was I going after? Well, that planta was pretty good. What planta? The potion, the potion. Um, I'm going to do rocks and get me some mushrooms. Mushrooms. So only these can be placed here? No, I they can be out. placed out there okay. too. But remember, they have different effects. So the wind um, allows you to take back your forage dice. The water drop gives you two ingredients instead of one. And the fire allows you to put it on top of somebody else's um, die. Basically canceling out that die. So if I go with my water here, I will get two, two crystals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, two crystals. And then if I get three crystals... You I can, can brew? Yeah, you can brew if you wanted to brew that three crystal potion. But in my... No, same turn. Oh, see, same turn. Yep. So you get this. Yep. You get the crystals. I get the crystals. And then you get to put a new potion. Potion out. Mm. All right. Uh, and you score points on the potions whether you use them or not. So it doesn't matter if you use them or not. Uh, place an extra die this turn. Oh, and I can I can brew that right now. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and brew that potion. Now I'm going to drink the potion. So okay. probably you want to put them somewhere so you know somewhere else you want to put them when you drink them so you know that you've drank them. So I yeah refresh. So I get to place two dice. Um, 
kind of ruined what I was, I was already kind of going for something. Um, that's fine. Uh, I'll go here and get one of those and I will go um, I'll go here to get one of those. All right. I am going to get Oh no. No, no. Oh, gosh, I cannot use this one. Well, I'm gonna get on creature. Do I pick any? Yep. So this one gets you three mushrooms. This one, when you scorch, you get a wild. Uh, this one, when you uh, go to the village, you get to scorch. This one, you trade in your wilds for victory points. Hmm. At the end of each round, you may trade two matching ingredients for victory points. Okay. So this is a trained creature. Yeah, it's a trained creature. All right. So oh, we might want to move them up just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Get in there, beanies. All right. What do I want to do with my rocks? I don't really want to train a creature. I can tie you up here, meaning that you won't get that zone. So I think I'll do that. So you have two dice left, so you can place two dice. Now there is a way, and I don't know if you see it, there is a way for you to claim that zone back. There is a way for me to claim... That forest. You actually have more die than me. One of your dies just happened to be covered up. I don't know how to claim that. Who to claim that? Oh no. Um, do these have to match? Let me double check. I think those have to match. I don't mm. think those can be any. So n maybe never mind then. I think I I was I was thinking you could use one of those town but spots. But what did you think? I want to know. The middle town spot. Well, where are the town spots at? Right, placing in the village. Remove all element dies from all forests. Yeah, if it has an element symbol, you may only place a die with that matching element symbol. Yep. Okay. So I have to have... You would have to have fire to do fire that. To... So you have wind. So the only thing you could do down here would be this one, which gives you a wild resource and uh, you get to reserve a potion. Reserve a potion? What does that mean? That means you get to take the potion and put it under here for you to use later. Well, I don't remember what that was on. I think it was that. Was it that or was it a rock? I had... Mo I had three of these and one leaf so it must be the no i didn't get rocks so yeah, it okay. to be yeah so, that's it. so reserve means that you get to take a potion and put it underneath of your uh player board now it says reveal so does that mean that you draw from the pile or does it mean that you um can take from you just take what's already there Reserve, reserve, reserve. I don't remember. Drink a potion. Reserving potions. Some village spaces allow you to re reveal and reserve a potion. When you do this, first reveal the top potion of the deck, then choose either the potion revealed or a potion of the market. Okay. So yeah, so if you go here, so you reveal the top card. Mm -hmm. You look at all five of these and see which one you want to keep or which one you want to take and reserve. It's not your potion. You're reserving it to buy later. Scorch any empty forest space. Remember, that blocks us from going into places. Remove any place. Die. Move any place. Forest. Uh, to any empty forest. Swap any place. Where is that? With the same symbol. So a lot of these are going to deal with this area control aspect. So for example, if you did this, swap any two die, 
with the same symbol. So that has a that has a, a branch. Mine has a branch. You could you would switch ours. You wouldn't normally switch your own. There's no reason to switch your yeah, own. But okay. you would switch mine. I would no longer be able to have majority there. You would, right? Similarly with like some of these other ones, right? Remove any uh, place die, right? I could, this one, you'd be able to remove this die. Now you have majority there, right? Or vice versa. Say you could just remove my die, right? It doesn't have to be your die when it's talking about. And I'll, most of them, I think, deal with this area control aspect. And then it will, for me to get it, if I can reserve it now, I still have you to still pay spend five. The five. And you at the end, it's going to give me four points. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Alright, so the reserve goes underneath your thing down here. And then that one, yeah, that one takes its place. Yep. Alright, so that is the end of that. So now we go to end of round. So we claim uh, controlled forests. So I control this forest. So I get this one here. Um, and then this one here, nobody controls. So nobody gets that one. How do we know if this die is yours or mine? That the white ones don't control uh, for anybody control. and then i control this one so nobody controls yeah the white ones uh, and then we just take our elemental die back get back take this back uh check for end of round creature powers neither one of us have a creature with an end of round oh yeah you have one uh end of round so you can choose if you want to spend your wild token to get a victory point i should get victory points because then i will regret oh is it, no oh, it's, it's two. Dos. two lo siento es dos I was not trying to cheat you. Uh, <laughs> check for end of game. It's not end of game because there's still more forest. All right, next round. Uh, take back our dice. Flip the village board. We did that. Reveal new forests. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Tres forests. Ah, ah, ah. That's the count. Uh, reveal new forest. Pass the first player token. Roll our dice. <laughs> I got mucho en fuego. I don't want en fuego. Necesito what? Agua. Necesito agua at the beginning of the game. All right. Is this mine? That's first player. Yep. Oh. Mm. And I normally we just pass. We, we always say we're going to pass our extra life die back and forth. But we, <laughs> we always forget. Uh, place one die. Somewhere. I got two. What was I working on? I don't like that, but I need some. I need some other things. Oh, so these change. This one is gather one of any ingredient. Now it's reserve and reveal a potion. You don't get the wild. This one though, you get the wild and you get to um, train a creature. Train a creature. Um, this one you get to scorch all empty spaces in one far. Ooh, wow! You scorch an entire forest. <laughs> Come on, fire starter. Get me a fire starter. So this one, you can trade one resource for one wild. Oh, that's nice too. But you need, you need agua for that. I'm gonna place it there. All right. So you get one wild. Oh, did you get your? You didn't get your wild last round. What? When you went to that other space, you should have had another wild. So you actually would have had four points. So trade me. I forgot to give you your. When you did this on the other side, it gave you one wild. I forgot, Wasn't I forgot that what I had? No, we started with one wild. So I, I missed that. Uh, so you're a, you, you have four victory points there now. Okay. Okay, so, so you, you get your one wild and, and then a train. Mm, the first time you score the space when you turn gather one. I mean, those are good for me, right? They're good because... for you because you've got that deer, yeah. So I'm going to get him. You're going to train him? All right. How to train your dragon, or in this case, how to train your, <laughs> your weird creature. creature. Your weird creature. I do like the art. The art's nice. The color's mm -hmm. nice. Like, that's what really drew me in, like, when I saw this first. Because I saw Brew when we first started getting into board games. Um, I was like, oh, this is this is a game here. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, what animal did you open up? At the end of each round, gather one wild per active ice creature. Oh. You want to you sit out like this because you want to make sure you can see them. You want to see the bonitaness. Mm. Oh, although you're going to run off the table there in a minute. Yeah. Um, so that's good if you can get a whole bunch of the ice creatures. I don't have any ice creatures, though. Um, so let me... 
Let me get, I really don't want this. But then again, I can, I can retire them at any time. This, uh, gather one of each ingredient. I mean, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and do that because that makes sense to do every round since I have it, because I get one of each ingredient. So why not? All right. Uh, hang on, do I want a real potion yet? What was I going for? No, I can't brew anything. Oh, do I want to take an Oh, I already played this, so this is this is done. So I'll just flip it over this way. That way I know I've already drank that potion. We always keep our resources until we spend them. Until you I mean, spend we won't them. lose mm -hmm. them. No, no, no. This isn't my father's work. <laughs> it is a good question just to ask now. Sure. <laughs> my father's work brought that up. Mm, because I want crystals. Crystals, por favor. I guess I should stay in here. That way I can watch the viewer count. Um, and uh, when people come in, mention the giveaways again. Mm, sí. Para los niños. All right. Um, okay. So I want... I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to tame a creature. I'm going to get this guy here. That cute guy there with the big long tail. Mm. Eh, mi <laughs> Just as para los niños. If nothing else, uh, this is a pretty looking game. Yes, it is a very nice looking game. The dice are nice. And the nice thing is, it's not like over deluxified. I think the cost is pretty low. Um, and Dice Tower, that I watched theirs, of course, to figure out how to play and, and their run through. They kind of associate it with um, entry plus, right? It's not terribly difficult. Um, it does take some strategy and, and things like that, but. Um, let's see here. Mm. I kind of like that other one. So I'm going to do this to get one of these. And then I'm going to spin those three to brew this potion. You can refill. Okay, so two turn. What do we got? Uh, place place next. Oh, that's the same as this one over here that I had last. So yeah, it's a play that's that same card. Uh, that's a great complexity level, not boring because it's a gateway game, but also, uh, not daunting. Yeah. And we, we have, I don't want to say an issue, but like my parents aren't like heavy gamers. I don't think my dad ever has been. My mom likes games. Um, she's not done a lot of hobby games, so I can't say she wouldn't start to pick it up. I mean, Audrey had never done hobby games and she kind of picks most of them up. We've had a couple that burn your brain. Yeah. See? They call them burn, brain burners. Can I brew now? Yes, if you have okay. the resources to brew, you can brew. I'm gonna brew you this one. That one there? Okay. It's a scorch any empty forest space. Okay. Ba basically, yeah, block, block me as this well. This is so. mine now, though. Yeah, over on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, and then refill. All right. Um, Go here, which gets me a mushroom. And then I'm going to brew this one with two mushrooms, three gems. Um, this one here says move any placed forage dice uh, to any empty uh, forest space. So basically I can move a forage dice if I need to. Scorchal empty space. So what does this is that this basically is you cannot we on a cart? You can't place anything there. Yep. So basically, if you scorched all three of those, you're guaranteed to get that card. But it has to be so. What if I do that here? 
I'm guaranteed you are to get still, that card. You, okay. <laughs> like I currently, I currently so have it does not give me the power to own it, just to not use it. Just for, yeah, nobody would be able to place dice there. So it protects your card. Okay, I'm gonna protect my card. Scorch, scorch. Oh my god, we're burning the nature. Burning the nature, no, burning no, the forest. Luckily, no, luckily, luckily we've got water at home. We'll put it out once it, you know, <laughs> once you clean it. I was gonna do the same thing, actually. Because mm -hmm. I... Well, that's fine. I'll do this. I wasn't going to do that, but I'll, I'll do that. So I will do a tame action. I will tame this cute little guy here because he combos with my oh, cute God. little long tail guy. Oh, no. But I need to get a purple. Oh, we don't have a purple forest yet. Okay. I've got forest for both of these guys. That's kind of where the claiming comes in. You want to try to get the forest to match the animals you tame or try to tame animals of that color. So you can get the combo action. All right, so you got the last die there. Um, there is nowhere you can place that on the forest. So you can, what's called forcing a dice. Uh, if you force um, a right. dice, uh, let me go here. Uh, forcing a dice. Uh, when you are trying to control, so to force a dice, you have to pay whatever resource um, you would gather. So you can force the dice into the space it doesn't match um but you don't get the resources so why would i place it there area control that's just about it. yeah that's okay. about it or to prevent me from but then having, if i or to prevent I me from having anyways because i have I yeah have, you don't have oh any, i have a you crystal. have a wild yeah so to prevent, crystal i have a crystal oh you have a crystal too well that's that there's no crystals out there's mushrooms oh that crystal there yeah. So it would be like if you wanted to make it so that I couldn't claim this one, you could do that there. None of your dice help you either, or none of your potions. Remove a place, element die. Okay, that's the white die. But if I cannot, I mean, if I do this, don't I it undo that? It doesn't do you any good. No, no, whatever happens still happens. It doesn't do you any good because you can't do either of those two actions. Scorch any empty forest space. See? No, but but there's there's still... no there's no purpose right now. Let's see. No, I mean your other option is these two here. So take reserve a potion, or get one of any resource. That's kind of like the the default. It can't do anything else. Okay, so I'm gonna get uh crystal. Crystal. Gross. Okay. So I have fuego. You did what I wanted to do with my fuego. Um, what do I need? I don't have any, I have no resources. Okay, I do have this potion. I could change this to this to any side. So I'm going to go ahead and drink my potion. I turn this to water. And then I'm going to do... The crystals here, which gives me two crystals because I had used it as one. All right, so that is the end of the round. So we go ahead and um, see who has control. So I have control of this one. I have control of this one. And then I have control of this one. Why do you have control of that? Because I had, you're the only one who there. I, yeah, I had more. I had more <laughs> dice yeah. than. Uh, my opponents, which includes the white dice and the green. So dice. if I had the scorch that it would still be yours. Yes, you would have. You would have yeah, had to. I you would have, have had to play. You would have had to move one of my die. You would have had to play something to make my die uh, move. Uh, so now end of round abilities. Uh, do you want to use your end of round ability? End of round ability. You may trade. Yeah, the first time you scorch a space. Oh. The first time you scorch a space on your turn, gather one wild. I didn't get it. Oh, yeah. When so. I scorched. And then, and then you're gonna turn at the end. Both yeah. of these in. Four, four. Four, cuatro mas. Whoosh, that's a good combo. Uh, Joseph, uh, this has been on my shelf of shame because I heard it was pretty mean game, but it really doesn't seem too harsh. I think my lighter game group would like it. Even Yeah, the Dice Tower said it had some take thatiness. 
but I think that is it's, it's you're removing their die or you're taking away their control. But I mean that that's an area control game. I mean that that's what that is. Um, and I guess that's just not very common in a worker placement game. But then again, most worker placement games are kind of take that. It's like I'm taking this spot yeah. that you want. So I don't know if you like worker placement, then I I don't see how it would be that. So at the end of the round, um, gather one wild per ice creature. Uh, at the end of the round, trade in two match ingredients for two points or three for four. Ooh, mine's slightly better. Yours is two for four. Mine, I don't have to do... <gasps> any ingredient. I, I, yeah, matching. Yeah, but what but I'm saying, any... though, is it's... I don't have to do four for four. It's three for three. four. So it's actually a better discount for me to wait and hold No, because I crystals. do two for four. See, yours is one for two or two for four. But wilds are more powerful. Oh, I see, I yeah. see, yeah. Um, no, I don't want to do that one. Okay, so did that. We've got our new things. We got that flipped over. Uh, pass the first player token. Roll the dice. All right, what's the wind? What's the wind do again? Uh, maybe exchange with one of your... Okay, in your forge. So it get, allows you to place your forge dice again. Okay. All right. So I get to go mm. first. Um, hmm. Let's see Fuego do again. I'll remove all element dice. Let's see. Place any element on this card, gain two. Ooh, that's just a straight gain two every time you put an element die on it. Place any element on this card. <gasps> I need the little link. What? You just get two so points every time choose... you do it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of worker placement with dice. I've uh, been wanting this game, but I haven't gotten it. Um, if you want other worker placement dice, I don't know if you've tried the Five Realms games, um, but their first set of games were dice. Uh, it was what? Cavern, Cavern, Tavern, and what's the other one? Rise to Nobility. Yeah. So Cavern, Tavern, Rise to Nobility, both are dice placement games. Um, we've got playthroughs on the channel. Some of our earlier playthroughs, so don't hold that against us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I want, I think I want to tame that guy. Uh, where's the tame action? Do I have a leaf? I do have a leaf. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to tame him since I've got too many because he's going to combo with that card too. I'm going to uh, set this guy free. So now he is worth three points, which technically he goes here because you can only have one per forest. So he goes there. He's worth three points at the end of the game. Um, and do I have enough to get a potion? No. I do not. Where's that And it is going to... Oh, I think we've got too many cards in that deck. Uh, in the forest deck. Uh, I'm just going oh, to... I think I missed a step. Get crystals. So... Get crystals. Oh. Um, Uh-oh. We've been, we've been screwing up. Let's set it over again? No. <laughs> uh, some of these forests we were playing were for higher player counts. So I will take them out now. Where does it say? I will take them oh, out now. Oh, it says four. This one is. Well, we'll leave that because, well, hang on. You're there. Uh, let me see. Uh, I, need an, I need a leaf with a tooth. That way I can keep that and not mess up that turn. There you go, leaf with tooth. And it's fine. Hey, and it's purple too. All right. But they are come. I'm about to say this. This player. I was about to say this was going to take forever at uh, two players. Um, so two, 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 two three. Um, what is yours? A two. Two. All right, and then I've got one, two, three, that are not supposed to be here. So I will take because the end of the game is when these run out. <laughs> I was like, man, this game's going to take forever. So I'm going to take these three out. Or technically, let me just replace them. Uh, so I need to replace 
Or so oh, and two players are all double sided. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, except for that guy. Oh, right. not this one. So we'll just replace him with him. Replace him with him. And we'll replace him with him. There we go. Close enough. So do I have to, like, match? Oh, yeah. So there's only one round left. My, oh, that's much my quicker. Mouse. That this is much quicker than I thought. That's actually, I'm much happier. This I was about to say this game feels like it might go a little bit too long, but uh, yeah, I mean that was bas It's basically four rounds. Oh my god, that scares so me a little bit. We have this round plus one more. So, why you have to check this game out or enter to win at the end of this stream? Mm -hmm. Yep. Battle of Venus. Battle of Venus. Who did who who did something last? I don't remember. <laughs> I placed this one here and I got me a crystal. Yeah, I think you were doing you were checking. Oh, it's easy because I'm first, so we have the same number of dice. Okay. All right. Um. So now I got to be a little bit more strategic. I need another blue. Which uh, I've got one blue. I need another blue. There's no blue out there, so I'm not gonna fight really over those. I got a purple for this guy. So now I'm looking at what I've got and what I need so I can retire these guys. Um, when you claim, oh, when you claim an ice forest, oh, gain two, kind of like that too. This, do I have to like, like the type of animal, it have snow, flowers? No, do I have to they just have to match for where you, when you release them, you have to release them into their when environment. I release them. It's seasons. So you got fall, summer, oh, spring. winter, okay. spring. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so cute. Seasons. So this is going to be probably on Audrey's uh, top top 10 list, maybe at the end of the year. Because we're going to do a top 10 of games we played this year. Not necessarily 2022 games. Uh, and of course, we'll do... We did a top 10 last year because it was our first year. This year, I think we'll do a top 25 um, of our of our favorite games all time. So wait, I, I have nothing right now because I have summer. I don't yeah, have any need, summer. Yeah, you need to, you need to get I mean, you a... Yeah, you want to you probably get you a summer, a summer animalis. Um... Okay, so I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna use this fire for any reason, so I'm gonna do that just to get my two points. My two. I guess I could have held off on that. I could do that at the end. Let me, yeah, let me do, why would I do that now? I could do that later. Um, so, okay, I need to make potions. What was I going, I was going after something. Oh, that's what I was going after. And I don't have that change my dice one. I do like that change the dice. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna bro I'm gonna bro. I'm gonna <laughs> brew this one using my wild. Um, you can fill. Okay. And then I'm going to drink it so I can change this now change this one to a water drop. And then I'm gonna do the water drop one I don't need any do I need any of these? Oh, I don't need any of these. Do the water drop here to get two cristal. Dos cristal. Ooh, we're up to six viewers. For those of you just joining us, oh, seven viewers. For those of you just joining us, we will be doing, I don't know if you saw our tweets or not, we'll be playing um, Dolce in a, in a minute. Um, but we did, we are running late, as we usually do on Extra Life Game Day. Uh, we will stream until we get every game planned, played, and given away. Uh -huh. And this one, this one, worker placement means it's going to take a little bit more time. Hey, McLean, para los niños. Just in time, you'll be able to win a copy of this. I'm going to get Ongos. A fungus among us? Ongos, the Pokemon? Um, oh, there's a Pokemon Monopoly, I think, coming out. Or it's already out. They Pokemon Monopoly. All right. Um, so we got a rock, a rock, and a stick. Rock and a rock and a stick. I think I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to do this, which gets me a while. Oh, but then I can't do this because I did the water. That's fine. Uh, gets me a while. I get to reveal a potion. Ooh, this is nice. Move any place for it. Oh, I've already got that one. Oh, no, this one moves it to another. Yeah. Oh, they're the same thing. They're just the way you make them is different. Okay. Um, 
I could make this quick. I've been going after one other one. That's fine. I'll, 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 I'll keep this one. That's fine. Because I can... Oops. It's in reserve. So I did that. Did that. Um, now, because I took this, I still can actually brew it. So I'm going to go ahead and brew this one. So now I have dos of those. Listo? I uh, love the art in the game. Yeah, this is gonna, this is really nice looking game. It was the reason I wanted to get it. That I like. We were new to the hobby, so like these I'm dice just look really cool. I'm like, oh, look at these dice. They, they're not, you know, pips of one I'm through gonna ten. Blue... This uh -huh. See? Two leaves See. and one dos leaves. Cause you gave away all your wilds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah, this one I can take. This? Okay. Don't forget your five mushrooms down there on that bottom guy. See ya. So you probably want to save your mushrooms for him. He's worth a lot of points. Now, what's that? What's that potion do? This is change one of your unplaced dice to any face. That's a that's a good one. I was actually thinking about getting that one again because it, it allow, you know allows you to change them. Um. All right, what was I? Work? I was working on something. I keep, I keep doing other potions and distracting myself from what I was doing. All right, that's fine. I will do this one here, which gets me a gem. Is this permanent, or when can no? I do you it? drink it whenever you, you want to drink it. it. So drink if you want to do it right now, yes, you could drink it right now and change one of the three dice that you have. I drink it, but then my then points. Flip it, my flip points it upside down. Come. Yeah, you still get the points. Just flip it upside down and know that you drink it. And you still get to play your dice. All right, so one of them, one of them, one of them. One of everything. God, I lost me. Um, <laughs> that really doesn't work. But I lost the Dang it, you have majority on like almost the entire thing. I don't need any of these. I mean, yeah, you get points for having them. <laughs> it's not what I want. I have to get this one. All right, so train. But that one's just one point. Oh, are they all of just one? They are all. Just yeah, they're all one point until you until you release them. You release them at the end of the game anyway. So he's what's his ability? When you place in the village, scorch any empty forest oh, space. Oh, that works with your other bird. That combos with that other bird. When you place so in the village. So now anytime you place here, you get to scorch, which then combos and gives you a wild, which then combos Ooh, and perfecto. gives you points. So perfecto. you know where I know where you're gonna put your uh, your uh, elemental die then probably. Yep. Oh, dang it. So the problem is, I go there, it's not going to do me any good. I'm going to get a mushroom. I don't even want a mushroom. Um, I can go there and force, but I, I win that one. I win that one. Come down here. I can, I'll just get one of any ingredient. That's fine. Not what I wanted to do, but it'll work. So I'm going to scorch. Okay, so you're doing that. So it says so, remove. Well, first you got to do what this says: remove all elemental die. There's only one okay. up there. Okay. Um, now, oh, because you wait. did that, now you get to scorch one spot. Really doesn't matter what spot because I have no dice left. The um, but because you scorched, yeah, you get so the I get one wild. And then that's the end of the round. All right. Um, that's the end. Of the that's round. it. All dice are placed. Um, unless you're gonna brew a potion because it's still your turn. I can brew potions. I, oh, well, I ha I'm supposed to you, be you saving for on this. That. <laughs> That's my <laughs> I keep saving for the one I want to make, and then I keep spending it before I make it. I'm like, I mean, technically, like, the one I've been trying to do this is, is this one, point. right? Which is five points. But I think I've made, it like, two potions since then that have been at least three or four points each. So I think in the end, it probably works itself out. All right. So I control this one. So I get this one. Do I get what I control? Yeah. Just take what you control. I want to control everything. You want to control everything? Yes, that that's normally the way it works. <laughs> the esposa controls total. Mm. All right, we do that. End of round effects. Uh, mm. At the end of the round, gather one 
wild per ice creature, so I get two. Um, the end of the round, I can trade any two matching for points. See, that's what held me back too. I traded, <laughs> I traded in both of these, and I've been wanting them for that. But no, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do it again. I got one more round. I'll just do it I next. I am going to next round leave my wife using. alone. Uh, and this one's placing the element on this card. All right. So flip over the board. Oh, uh, are you going to keep your wild? Or are you going I'm going to keep it because, um, well, I don't know. It's so hard. But I think it's a better deal if I keep it. <laughs> right, there are my, there, there are the ice ones that I need. All right. So flip the board. Flip the board. Oops. Uh, one of us is missing an elemental die. Uh, now the question is, um, check for end of game. Uh, page 15. Do we do end of round stuff before we do end of game stuff? Right? Okay, brood potions, claim forest, release creatures, release all your train. Okay, so you release the creatures as part of scoring and end of round happens before end of game okay so you do activate your end of round cards again before end of game nintendo no you will still activate your end of round before end of game so when do i get to release them at the end of game or but now technically now okay. because i can only have three you can have four so i, I have gotten five, five, five. okay so we roll. All right. Uh, no more. I think. Do we have the trays? I do better with the trays. Oh, the dice tray. Or what are our other trays? All the other. Well, we only we only need the one that says extra life. But... Oh, you're this. I killed the animales. The poor animales. The wildlife, William. Poor animales. <laughs> I crushed them with los the extra los niños. <laughs> I crushed them with the extra life tray because it's para los niños. All right, so my I want to know with these two because I've not drank them and I'm wondering, um, is there a potion description thing? Potion. Here we go. Uh, move a forged dice. Move any forged dice to a different empty space. The symbol on the dice you move does not need to match where you go. Do not. Okay, so you do not gather. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just to move a dice. Okay. So it's just move dice. So that way I can make sure I have uh priority. Uh, let me roll first player. Did you roll? You rolled. So, yep. That was the last roll. I handed you the dice tray and it was like, that's the final, final roll for the, the game. Yeah. This is the last, the last round. This, it's actually, I like it. it. It's a quick, I like that it's a quick short game. No, I think game it was with two too players. short. Now you think it's too short. Um, I'm gonna, no, I cannot score. You cannot score. <laughs> oh, but I didn't even. You want to get you a, well, you've got two. You just want to try to get you a winter one and maybe get another animal so you can get another one. You want to try to get two of those and another animal. It would be your, your best scoring option. And so the sevens I'm gonna are your get best bet. Me... Mushroom? Mushroom plus three. So right. see, I'm trying to, but I don't have to do this one. It's just a, right? I don't have to do this one. The one that you're storm? No, no, you don't have to. I mean, currently it's going to get you the most points. Well, unless you can somehow that come one, but... Well. but again, it's, do you want the ability? In the final Better round, that ability might come in handy. Yeah. Come so, in handy? Come in handy, yeah. With that ability, swap any two dice with the same symbol. So if you're not if you don't have area any control, two? yeah, if you don't have area control, it allows you to swap one of your dice into another mat, so maybe you'll get area control by doing the swap. Now of course it might also give me area control. You don't know. Right? You have to see what the final state is. What was I going after? I keep going after that same one. Mm -hmm. Although I do get more. So I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. It gives me one wild. It allows me to train a creature. And since I've got all of these wonderful biomes for all of my wonderful creatures, 
Um, which biome do I want to add a creature to? I'm going to retire him right away, so it doesn't, technically doesn't matter. Well, unless I want to... No, I think I'm going to do that. Um, I guess it doesn't matter, really. We're on the at this point. Yeah. Uh, basically, I, I, I trained him and then released him immediately. I was like, you're such a good boy. You can you can be free. All right. Did that. Hi. Hi. I'm thinking about doing this. You're thinking? I'm thinking. Trade one I do think for one up to three times. Because of you know, this your points, one. Yeah. But... But mm -hmm. I don't know if I can get a potion that might need that one, you know? Like, I have three Yeah, mushrooms. but is, it, is the potion going to give you four points? The only time it would be more worthwhile to spend that towards Actually, that. Actually, it will give me more points. Oh, you well, mean for you, the one? You can only do it once. So, technically, you could, two is, is the most you would have to, to do uh... it. So would there, you know, would you spending that wild on a resource no, then I'm and losing a resource? Potions. Yeah, huh? no, I see. So, uh... Again, you can still train also. Remember, you can train one more because you can have four. Again, they may not retire to a village, but you still get the one point and maybe the ability. So here, how does it work? I mean, because it is half on half, so... It counts as both types. Counts as so if I if I take over the area and you claim will... that and you had this guy then you get two points. It doesn't matter where the dice no. are placed. So. No. Okay. So I place the die. I'm gonna get me a potion. Well, no, you gotta you're training. You, you gotta train somebody. Oh, see, I'm training. So I'm gonna do. I mean, based this you're getting for that. So this is yellow and. Blue. So basically, winter and so this summer. Is the one to... Your best bet's to get a winter or summer. Yeah. Let's go winter. So he gives you two points if you claim a winter, which in this round is a good thing because all, all of them, of them are, winter. are winter. Yeah. All right, and then you're gonna brew. Oh, brew I know, that makes me so nervous because I don't know if I can make more things or not. I'm, I think if I don't do it now, then I will maybe. I mean, again, yeah, because you can only brew one potion per turn per dice placement. So and these and these do the same. It's a, and it's if you need... even use it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Which Just... technically, I mean, you don't forget you've got those dice down there. And, uh, you already have those potions too, because again, last round, if you want to use them, you're gonna want to use them. All right. Um... Oops, oops. What if I drink this potion now? Will I be able to yeah. claim that one? I'm going to drink it. Well, no, you can't claim it. You're just going to scorch a space to prevent... So, yeah, I mean to do this one. Yeah. Scorch any empty forest space. Yeah, so, and then you can do that other one to scorch the other space. So which space you want to cover up? If you look at my die, I've got a leaf. I've got all three symbols, so it really doesn't matter. But again, you can scorch a second space. You have another... Uh, what do you need to do? Don't know. Go look at the potions. Uh, this one. All right. All right. So flip that one over so maybe you know you drank it. All right. I'm going to go here. I will get one crystal. So I have six crystals. One mushroom. You need a lot of mushrooms. Holy cow. So I still need to. I still need to. You need to, to have a whole majority, so yeah, you so can drink. You to... can drink that potion, or if you actually need something, you can just place. So it I can it. drink this one. If you don't need anything on that tile, that's your best bet. Yeah. Okay. If you need something on the tile, you'll have majority anyways. Well, there's nothing that that will give me, so I'm gonna drink it. All right. Which one? Mm. This one. I don't. I don't have a rock, so technically that should that, that is your best bet. Uh -huh. All right. Um. 
Alright, so I got my fire, and the fire... Alright, I'm gonna do that. Fire. Doink, doink. Hola! Como estas? Muy bien, gracias, y tú? Let's do... Let's do... Ay, espera, un momento. Hongos, 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 hongos. All right. Did I put it right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to put this uh, key. And it gives me another gem. So now I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, no. seven gems. <laughs> I will take the big boy. Um, so he's worth five points, but I can remove any place die with him. Okay, do that no. Why do you have more dice than me? Uh -huh. If you're a first player, how do you have more dice than me? Somehow we went out of turn at some point. I have. I only have two dice left. Somehow we Was went I out first? of turn. So, yeah, you were first player. Somehow we went out of turn. Yeah, go twice. Somehow, I, you must not have placed a die. You must have done other things on your turn and forgot to place your die. So if I drink this potion, this potion remove a place die. So if I remove this one, oh no, because I don't have the, the fuego, so I cannot yeah. use it. I mean, but but I had another one that... But, I mean, you could replace this one, too, which gives you another animal and a wild. Another one, But I cannot get more animals. Yeah, you can. You just immediately send it to the forest or replace something you have down there if it's not going to give you end score. So what is what I... What is what I... Like here, at the end of each round, gather one wild per active fire creature. Oh, that one doesn't have So this one that says you might have up to four active creatures. That's active. That's active. So if mm -hmm. I release them... I will have, I will open yeah, space here. Mm -hmm. Or you can just take one and immediately release it. That's what I did with this yellow one. With the summer one. I just grabbed it and released it immediately. Okay, so. Uh, if I re remove it. It just, it just removes from the game. And that is a. Yeah, so you drank I your potion to remove it. I can't do it again. And then now you can do it again. So you get one wild plus one, one animal. True, so true. if one gives you a benefit at the end of the game, I would say, you know, keep that. Like or like this one here, if you replace something with him, he'll give you three mushrooms. Um This one, if you if you're gonna brew another potion, he'll give you one victory point. This one just lets you change to fire. And this is end of round. That's not gonna help because you don't have any fire guys. So if you want to, if you want to keep one and replace one down there, um, these two are probably the best if you're gonna get them for their in-game benefit. If you're wanting to get one to, and then you would release your purple or your yellow, right? I think your purple and your yellow combo, right? Oh, you placed a village. You get to put a fire out too. Did you place this one too? No. Because I do, I, I have no Oh, no, I did that for there. Okay, so where do you want this other fire token? Because that was your first time going out there. I placed the other two. Mm. All right. Okay, so now you technically don't need that guy anymore. So if you were to take him or him, it just depends. Do you want three mushrooms or do you want a point when you brew a potion? Three mushrooms? Okay, so you take that and then move the yellow guy into the yellow one. Yep. They are, are they all three? Yeah, they're all three. All right. Now you get to take your second turn, so technically then you could put that on your... Get your three mushrooms. No, because it says any forage. Oh, forage. Okay, so you got to put your rock on there. All right. So that gets you three mushrooms. But is, are we gonna end the turn? The it's still game your turn. Right it's still now? your turn. Yeah, well, so I can still brew. Yeah, it's still your turn, so you can still brew. 
What have you been trying, what have you been trying to brew? You need one more, one crystal? You have crystal, because you have the uh, wilds. So I have, see, I have three crystals. E four fungus. Alright, three crystals, one fungus, one fungus among us. What's that one? Move any die? You move any place die. So that's for... <clears throat> um, you can only do one potion. Yeah, you can only drink one potion. So I All would right. have actually been better if I had gone save my wife for this. So I'm going to play... I'm going to do this one. I remove any place die. I'm going to remove this one. Um, that allows me to place this one. And then, which color? He goes here. Oh, an orange, I guess. Let's do an orange. All right. And I don't have enough to brew anything. So that'll give you two of a resource if you do. Now, you want to put it out because it'll give you two of a resource. Oh, see, it's agua. It's agua. Ah, uh, but that is not going to give me... Mushroom? The... the the thing no you won't you won't win that location uh, now remember you have that remove any place die so technically you could remove one of my die from there from, any die? from either either location that you would gain control of so i need the autumn so i remove your die you might want to look at what die i have <laughs> <laughs> you better take your, that one over there on the left. That's still winter, which would still allow you to get rid of one of those guys. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Uh, move any forge die to any other <laughs> space. You made me waste all my no, time and money. No, so it's, it's what it is. Investment. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and train. Um, if I can train, and I need Amarillo. Let me see, Amarillo. All right. Um, can't brew anything. I have no more dice. You have no more dice. All right. Uh, so end of round, we don't worry about bringing the dice back because uh, we do need to clean. So this is a tie. So neither one of us get that one. That one is yours. Um, this one is mine. And then that one is a tie. So neither one of us get that one. All right. <laughs> okay. So now end of round effects. At the end of the round, um, get two of these per um active so two of those uh at the end of the round uh, you may trade two matching ingredients for two points there's two matching ingredients for two points is that the first time i've done that yeah i don't have any of these little things like you do all right so now you get to do your combo though uh when you claim a well you didn't get to get that because you didn't claim any uh that one doesn't do end of round no, no. I mean this one, but this one is straight the uh, wild, which I don't. Which you have. used for something else. Did I give you your wild for the first time you scorched? Yeah, I think so. No, you only scorched once. I don't think I did. You only scorched once. You scorched once when you went here, because you automatically scorched with the yellow guy. That was the only time you scorched. So you technically have. You one. gave me for no. I think we did this one. We did him. He scorched. I didn't give okay. you one of these. All right. Just, so you so get I that. So you trade that in and get points. two. All right. Okay. So now we add up all of our points. So this game, this game does not have a score sheet. So again, all right, guys. So we are going to be doing scoring. So what do we do while we do scoring? We do a break. Giveaway. <laughs> She's so much more excited than I am about the giveaways. And it's like, I, I tried to lead her into it and it did not happen. <laughs> All right, so complete that one. Doo -doo. All right, so here's the giveaway. So let me go ahead and get that started. So here is the current giveaway. So this is to win a copy of Brew. Uh, just do the Para Los Niños, exclamation point, Para Los Niños to uh, enter to win Brew. 
and we will have Pandasaurus send that out to you again as long as you're in the continental U.S. Um, so, Bruce. we have we, we have Audrey. All right. So first thing we got to do. So we will just do the point tokens, I guess. The little, the little, the little VP Jesus. tokens. So I have two. Solo dos. Ten. Audrey has DS. All right. Um, you can release any animals that can be released. Boo, I have two snow that cannot be released. Oh, I wouldn't even use them, my guy's ability. When I was using those wilds, the first wild counted as two of a resource, not one. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do that. All right, so now we do, um, I guess just, I guess this whole thing is the same thing, right? I don't know. I don't know how they, how do they put it in here? So, para los niños to enter the giveaway. And also make sure that, you know, if you're watching, make sure you guys are always at the live point, right? To make sure that you're live, because I only have the giveaways for two minutes. Uh, character. There you go. Uh, brood potions. Okay, so there we go. All right, so there we go. So, potions. So potions. Seventeen. Oh, seventeen. How did he be? Uh, claimed forests. So claim forest, which is these. Yes. Yeah. Fourteen. How much? Fourteen. <gasps> Without um, with the animals? With the released animals? No. And then next is released creatures. Oh. We know if you did mucho. Twelve C. Again. Six. And then Me put animals um, or put release. Not released. Is minus? No, plus. Three. Three. Saddle to three. Uh, leftover ingredients. Score one VP for every three leftover ingredients. Oh, you dos. Mm. When I get many, then it gives me, the game gives me minus. All right. You got your calculator? No. <laughs> you don't want to see the score? <laughs> no, I, I'm not. Uh, Andrea says, ja, 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 ja. Your sister's laughing at you. Gracias, sister. Joseph, ah, oh, you guys. Uh, good luck. I wish I didn't have it already. I'll sit out. Oh, Joseph already has it. Yeah, All right, so 10, 17, 14, 6, 30. Or three. Three. <laughs> You're gonna get 50. 50. Right. Hey, it's a nice number. I nice number. Winner. Two. 16. 33. 18. 69. 69. There we go. 69 to 50. There we go. All That's right. That's a nice number. <laughs> That's a nice number, too. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do the uh, winner of the giveaway. Do, do, do. All right. Uh, where we at? Du, 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 du. Pick a winner. Du, 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 du. Elijah. So Elijah, you've already Ooh. reached out to me once. So this will just get. We just. Uh, who wants Sobic? Why is you win Sobic? Dang it! It'd be so much easier uh, yeah. if, if the same person won both. Yeah, okay, you got you guys in the in your messages that you send us. Make sure you tell us what game. <laughs> I think the one I was when I was here. Yeah, it was Elijah. Complete. Or was it in the kitchen? When he heard a lion. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. They know what game they won. They'll let us know in our comments. There we go, guys. That is Brew. Uh, we will, of course, uh, 
throw you guys on over to the next stream. Last time I messed up a little bit and it didn't throw you guys over to the next stream, uh, which is going to be Dolce. Um, dulce. 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 Incorrecto all the ways that I said it. Um, <laughs> uh, thought uh, giveaways are happening later in the month. Oh, uh, Thrill, the, the big giveaway is at the end of the month. So we'll, we'll be, because we'll be mentioning that and posting it till the end of the month. These are just the little giveaways. So some of the publishers gave us extra copies of games to give away while we were playing. Just kind of to get, you know, viewers involved and be in the chat. And it makes the stream slightly more entertaining. Um, but yeah, we're going to switch over to Dulce. Uh, Dulce. Much more um, entertaining. We don't have a copy of that to give away because that was a brand new game and Off Duty Ninja did not send that to us. However, those games we mentioned earlier this morning, we'll be giving away one or two of those during that stream. Um, so if you guys want to pay, want to be involved in that, <laughs> just go ahead and stay watching or head over to the next video. Uh, if you are watching this after it's recorded, remember that the Extra Life Game Day Giveaway Big Bundle is still going until the end of the month. Well, until then, guys. Adios. Peace.